What's up guys? Today, I'm doing the uh, E30 wheel bearings. They're making a loud noise. You probably saw it on the last video. They were just really loud. Just making this like, it almost sounds like tire noise, you know? Just that a drone. And decided, you know, after I, I pulled a uh, wheel off, I tried to spin the rotor, or you're like, or I'll spin the whole wheel, you know? And it'll go woo, and then kind of slow down and keep going. So I can tell that they're pretty bad. Bought some new ones along with some other stuff. I'll be showing it in videos. Right now I'm sort of prepping this thing for a road trip. And if I can make it in time, I'll, you know, I'll probably film it, do some interesting things, go to some meets in the Houston area and that kind of thing. But if not, I'll be, you know, screwed. Okay, this is yet another uh, FPC box, or SCP Euro. I got some new dust covers. I got some new axle nuts. Uh, I also got a, this is a Guivo. This will be in a future episode. I don't want to do that right now. But I, I was under it the other day and I saw it was a little worn. So I just bought one, you know, why not? This is a fan clutch. And then here are my FAG hub bearing assemblies. I bought two front ones. I didn't want to go cheap and I'd never heard anything about my, uh, my late of those, but I understand that this is kind of a pain in the ass to do, so I wanted to make for 100% certain that I got the absolute best that I could. So, besides OEM, OEM's only 200 bucks. I wasn't ready to spend that much money on the damn things. So, these are the new hubs. They come with bearings already pressed into them. See, there's the bearing in there. Pretty, pretty hub and this just slips on. Pretty easy. It takes a couple of special tools. I already went and bought them. I woke up early this morning, drove to Sears, that sort of thing. around this. See it just barely fits in there. And then it should be I think 200, 220 foot pounds or something. I have something on the brake right now. Get a little brake it loose. There we go. Sometimes I hate myself for tightening stuff so tight but I also don't like dying so it works out. You know. Every day above ground's a good day. Very gently. Okay, so now that that uh, caliper is removed, I can undo this nut. And usually the rotor would sort of fall off, but I guess it's a little seized to the actual hub. So, I think. You know, I bought a three jaw puller so that I could pull that hub off of the, ah, Jesus. Ugh. I bought that puller so I could pull this hub off the damn spindle. And look at that. It came, it just freaking dropped off. That is crazy. Actually nuts. I'm just gonna have to separate that from the rotor. Bring it up. 
There we go. Okay, so it was just barely enough. noises, no nothing. Good stuff. Happy with that. So now I just mount this oh, back on. You know, I've always wondered about like torquing everything to spec versus, uh, you know, tight as tight. And I've always been the mindset that, you know, tight is tight. It's you torque it down tight and you know, you're safe. You just have to keep in mind that these are the parts of the car that keep you alive. The brakes, the steering system, the axles and things like that. If one of those goes, then you have no control over the car basically. So I, you know, I torque it accordingly. I don't try to go crazy and break my bolts and things like that, but I make sure they're tight. I've kind of wondered about the, validity of that, you know, uh, practice versus over torquing everything to perfect spec and things like that. But it's so hard to get a torque wrench back here. I had to, you know, turn the wheels and things like that. So, I don't know. Just food for thought. What do you guys do? You know, I, I sit here and I show you guys how to do things and then, but the truth is I, I still learn every time I work on the car. I've never done these wheel bearings before, so it was... I figured it'd be an uh, interesting experience and I needed to do it and I just dove right in. Wasn't bad, you know, the help of the forms, uh, good sort of mechanical background and it was pretty easy, honestly. I don't have a torque wrench that can do, I think it's 184 foot pounds. So as you guys saw me, I was breaking this loose. It took some force to get it off. But I know, you know, torque is just force times the rate at which it acts. So let's say you put, uh, this is a two foot bar, you put 100 pounds on this side of the breaker bar, directly perpendicular to it, and it'll create a 200 pound foot torque. So it's just the, the force times the distance on the, the thing. And I'm about, you know, 220 pounds or so, so I figure if I stand directly on the middle of this, it'll put, you know, so somewhere around 200 foot pounds. And I think that'll be more than enough to hold it. So that it's going to be slightly in excess of the torque and it's not going to be 100% accurate. But seeing as you're smashing the uh, nut in to keep it tight, it's not gonna be an issue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let's find a point that's about halfway down. And all I'm gonna do, pop this foot. Oh, okay. Let's just stand up. Ugh, so I was looking at these bearings and I was trying to, because I, oh my God, I'm an idiot of epic proportions. Jesus Christ, I swear I did that on accident. I'm fucking hell. <laughs> Christ. Okay, so let me just kind of explain to you. So wheel bearings, they're just like any other bearing except bigger. They have all these little balls that, you know, sit in these little races. These are like the internal races of these things and they just, you know, support the load and rotate really fast. The point being, it's interesting physics that goes into anything that's rotational like this because they have all the load on them and then they have tra uh, load, axial load, and that's why they're at this uh, angle they are, most likely, because so they can take the axial load of, you know, cornering G-force and things like that. If they were just straight, then it would just be pressing perpendicular and you'd kind of wear out these bearings so they have them at the, a bit of a angle, if you can see. I hope you can. Focus, fuck. 
There. No. Basically, these bearings are just made up. So there's all these little balls that go up in here. I'll just put a couple in so they support the weight of the thing. And then you have two race. Here's the, the back side. They normally have shields on them, so you can see. Them. But here's the race, and they just spin just like this. You can hear mine. This sounds terrible and totally inaccurate. There's another set on the inside in here. Yeah. Interesting stuff. I don't know if any of you are interested in that kind of thing. You don't know, maybe. I'm sure a lot of you already understand this kind of thing, but there's still quite a few of you who may not totally grasp the, the whole concept. So, that's wheel bearings for you. Ugh. Just uh, simple stuff, you know, basic, uh, basic bearings, just on a bigger scale than like on your skateboard or longboard, it's the same philosophy. Okay, you know, wasn't too bad of a job. I had that little frustration hiccup and I had to order a new piece, things like that. It took me a little longer than I expected, but you know, now that it's done, I'll go take it for a ride, do all that good stuff. We'll see how uh, the new wheel bearings sound compared to the old ones. I'll probably put a, like an audio clip from each and you can actually hear it. It's crazy. And it's not even just like turning. You know how some people say they make like a high pitched noise when they're turning? It's not that. It's just this road noise and it's awful. So thanks for watching another, you know, Euro Garage episode. I do my best. Keep it interesting, keep it new, keep you guessing. So, let's do some more things. I got some more videos coming. Uh, like I said, I'm prepping for a little road trip. So I gotta make sure this car's ready. And if I can't make it in time, screw me, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Did I slip you guys off? No, no I didn't. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>